Hello everyone, this is Sakvi and in this video we will be discussing about proxy change tool. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can ask your doubts or get updates regarding the content that I'm going to upload, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, proxy chains is a tool. So most of most people might be uh, knowing about that. But the reason we'll be covering this proxy chains because it is very useful uh, if you go to some kind of depth part so let let me give a small brief about what a vpn is and uh, i'll take a notepad here just a minute so we know some concepts like a vpn and we have something called as tor okay so what ha what a vpn does is like there there will be some kind of a vpn server so with the help of a vpn client you try to connect to that and it, it will be all be encrypted so it spoofs your location as well. So that is what all this stuff and Tor, you have three nodes. So when you, you, you three nodes in a Tor network, the first one entry node, uh, middle node and the exit node. So these are some parts. So we have something called as proxies. So proxy chains, okay, proxy chains is a tool. So which is inbuilt. So if you feel like you uh, your machine is not having or something like that. So let me zoom in a little bit. So you can simply do sudo apt. Uh, install and uh, proxy chains so this tool is available okay so what the reason why i'm covering proxy chains is like if you use a vpn what happens is like you force your whole system wide communication okay to pass through that vpn tunnel okay and if you use a tor so most probably you will be on browser tor browser that's what most people use so people uh like the communication which goes through the browser will be uh, going through the Tor network. So proxies, what you can do is like you can force some applications to launch. Like you can start a proxy server. Okay, you can start some application to work to go through the proxy that you provided. So proxy in the sense like those are some kind of servers guys. Like I'll show you like those are some kind of VPNs. You can add some n number of VPNs to this tool. Okay, like uh, you can like if you take Tor, you have only three VPN only one. But proxy chains, if you can configure it to have like multiple proxy IPs. Like like 10 20 30 40 so we'll cover about that how we can edit and stuff so that is the basic thing about this proxy chains and why we use it so we force an application to go through the network that we're providing okay so this is what you need to do proxy uh sudo apt install proxy chains and hit enter you'll be getting that and then what you need to do is like you need to locate a file guys so so nano and slash etc and uh, proxy chains sorry so guys, uh, what happens is like you'll be having two tools, guys. So I don't know what this proxy chains 4.conf is related to, but uh, this file will be available for you. So conf in the .co and file in the sense like configuration file. Okay, but uh, like make sure after make sure you're having this file. Okay, before starting this stuff, whatever it is, if it is not available, try to install it. So sudo apt install proxy chains and you will get this file so you can simply nano into this file or uh, you can open a gedit whatsoever simply hit enter so first of all we need to give some settings guys okay so proxy chains you can see we have some lot of proxies you can add a lot of proxies whatsoever these are some kind of protocols that it is supporting and here these are some kind of terminology guys so pro uh, dynamic chain and strict chain so what happens is like you can provide some as i told you, you can provide some n number of uh, uh, proxy list so okay so something like uh, something like this 120 like something i'll uh, just put something guys okay so don't uh, worry about it okay so uh, something to the port 2234 and uh, you can add something like like this this is the configuration that we'll be doing okay like you can add multiple ips uh, like here from this website if you want to you can try it okay so what happens in the sense uh, if you have this strict chain is like it goes in order so like what is the order so if i go to the bottom once again you can see there is only one proxy list but if i have some multiple proxies here what happens is like it goes through uh, one by one okay strictly it follows the rule okay but there is something called as a dynamic chain so dynamic chain in the sense like as the name suggests it goes through whatever it likes okay so we'll be using this dynamic okay so if you want you can try it strict as well everything anything is fine so personally i like using this uh, static uh, strict chain because what happens is like sometimes if some uh, might not work 
this 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 will work prop this is working properly for me i tried this trick chain but it's having some issues but you can just try it okay so if you want to use any of this option so uncomment it and if you don't want to use any option like strict chain or dynamic chain uh, comment it by adding a hash here okay hash value or pound key or whatever you can call so now you can see some options don't try to mess with this option so these are some read and write uh, seconds and like time based stuff and you can see we have some like how you can edit so if you have some kind of private proxies which require some password username and password you can mention it like that so socks 5 uh, socks 4 http are some kind of protocols for these proxies okay you can do research and this is the ip and this is the port uh, which to which you want to connect to and uh, this is something like uh, like the name username and the password okay so if you come bottom you can see it is set default to tor so so let me open a new tab here so we need to cover something guys so we also need to install tor for this example but installation of tor is completely your choice okay if you want to go with some private proxy uh, like proxies you can you know need to have some proxy like this tor or something like that but for demonstration so we'll be installing tor as well so sudo apt uh, install so tor you don't need to have a tor browser tor service is what you require okay so and also you can see by default it is mentioned so sox4 is a protocol so 127 so local host and 9050 is the port which tor runs okay which tor runs on like you can do a simple nmap scan on your device after installing tor and you can see 9050 port is open so i did some several times and you can find it out so you can see tor is open so what you need to do is like tor is like now a service guys not a browser kind of thing not a tor browser kind of thing so it's a service so you need to start that service so uh service uh start tor or tor starts uh it's something like uh, tor start so something like that okay so tor start and what happens is like you need to start the service and let's check the status like guys this uh, service and system ctl the syntax are kind of uh, thing so that's the reason i get confused status if i run status you can see it is running so if i hit q it will be done so we have tor set it up so if as i told you this is an optional stuff if you like tor like basically i choose it but if you want you can go through so if you have something so what you can do is like you can go to some websites like this and i'm not recommending any of the website guys because most uh, mostly what happens is like these proxy ips will be having some kind of loggers so they log all the traffic that you are going which is going through them so it can be some kind of breach some kind of privacy issues and stuff i generally use tor but uh, you can simply copy this ip uh, this uh, proxy port socks 4 socks 5 you can add it and you can hit enter okay so that is it how you can do it and after setting up everything so once verify we have this uh, dynamic chain option control s and control x okay so we uh, successfully configured or changed the configuration of this proxy change tool okay so how we can run it so let me let me show a small example let me close this uh, thing so i'll open a proxy chains okay uh fi with firefox okay i'll open firefox so firefox is a tool we all know it's an apple browser so i'm just opening uh proxy chains okay firefox with the help of proxy chains now you can see i have a browser so i'm just doing like i simply type uh, what is my location so let me hit that uh let, let's wait because tor is a big thing guys so you need to go through three nodes and you can see you will be getting these captchas everywhere okay because tor is something so i just made into the full screen uh let me complete this captcha so it takes time so select image with bicycles uh, it will take time guys uh, but uh, that is what you get compromised but mostly i don't use this proxy change tool with this uh, thing so so i got these vehicles and stuff so you will be getting so capture we all know what is the issue so traffic lights you'll be getting multiple captures because this might be some kind of thing now we got the capture completed so you can see the language got changed so it's something like d uh, i don't know what it what you exactly call so i'm just clicking somewhere i'll just open some link i don't know guys i i don't even know what is happening uh, just open this tab in a new tab a link in a new tab so let's see like you can see the loading time by loading time you might be guessing it like it is going through something so 
uh, you can see it is still taking time so it is uh, let's use some other application okay so let's use some other application and uh, the previous site is asking me for gps stuff but uh, that is we don't need to give it okay you can see we are in some luxembourg or some other country so which i am not i am right now in india but you can see different uh, it is making some change guys so i'll close this once again okay so you might be having like satvik uh, you are right now connected to the luxembourg and i want to change this location how you can do it so i'll show you that as well so i'm closing that so what you need to do is like sir uh, service tor and restart okay so if you do a restart what happens is like this tor service gets once again restart so every time uh you do a restart it will be adding it will be connected to a new nodes so though uh, in that sense like you can test it now you can go fine but the reason why i use this tor is like whenever i'm doing some bug bounty hunting or some kind of testing on an application like it times me out okay so there will be some kind of timeout kind of thing so in that time what how i do is a proxy change uh nmap and let me assume google.com and hyphen v verbose so you can see it is going through this stuff so the host seems to be down so like this i'm just trying to tell you an example guys okay so you can force any application to go through this proxy chains okay like uh, tor is working but uh I'm only forcing some applications to go through this proxy chains and this proxy chains have this tor stuff. Okay, so that is clear, right? So as I'm as I'm telling you an example, right? You can use some private uh, proxies. Yes, you can use some private proxies. I've seen some of my friends having like 10 to 20 proxies, but ultimately it slows down their connection speed or whatsoever. So you can see you can try to add them. Okay, you can see which country it is located, and I'm not sure, guys, because what happens is like uh, most of the time these proxy uh, IPs might be handled by some FBA or something like that because they look into the traffic, they monitor the traffic, so it might be a kind of dangerous thing. So do your own research while uh, adding some proxy IPs to your uh, proxy change tool or uh, whatever the tool. So that is it. That is as simple as that, guys. So like you can do like you, the syntax is simple so proxy chain so sudo might be unnecessary so i'm not sure but i haven't tested it so if you are having an issue while running generally with proxy chains if it's not working at sudo in front and try to work okay you can even ping something like google.com i'm not sure whether it will work or not so it will be late okay it will take some times because like we are going through three nodes right so that is what ultimately so that might be some kind of stuff so that is it guys for this proxy chain so like um, most people asked me about this proxy change tool but uh, like and some people will be using this proxy change tool for some illegal purpose okay so that is not why what i intended to but when you're doing some pen testing or whatsoever you might be uh, getting into some kind of timeout kind of thing in that cases it will be definitely working okay so you can try to do your own research on what are some other good proxy servers you can add to your proxy chains or if you are fine with the tor you can just add it and you can just use it okay and if you feel like it's done like the work with the proxy chain is done and what you can do is like you can stop this service so uh, service uh tor and stop so make sure your uh, tor is running up while you are using this proxy chains or else it won't work because ultimately it is not going through anything so that is it guys for this video and if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is Satvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.